What's good guys, welcome back to the official Unorthodox YouTube channel. My name is Gio and today we got a performance review on the 361 Big 3 Sunset. Alright, so before we get started, I just want to invite you guys to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and a comment down below, and with that being said, let's get on to the shoe. So starting off with your traction, 361 is calling this tri-grip, and what tri-grip is, is basically a diamond cut traction pattern with built-in nubs for multi-directional movement, as you can see here. So how does that feel on court? Well, my first observation is that the diamond cuts allow for a lot of flex, so it gives you that barefoot feel. Pretty much a play on Nike's waffle technology. So if you like court feel, this is the shoe for you. Within that diamond pattern are nubs shaped like a square, so you're pretty much good to go for your jab steps, your forward motion most importantly, and uh, the heel to toe transition in the shoe is very crisp and you're pretty much good to go also on toe drags. Uh, to finish off that traction pattern, initially there was a coat of like this extra grippy layer which is good for indoor courts but needing to wipe for outdoor courts. All right, so for the cushion of the shoe, they are using the quick foam technology. What quick foam is, is essentially packing foam, but it's blown into a super critical state. It starts off as like a really thin foam, pretty much what you would get if you were to buy something like a, like a cell phone case. What they do with that is that they inject uh, CO2 and they heat it up. So once that foam cools down, that CO2 returns to its gas state. And uh, what that does, it just blows up the foam. And what you get is pretty much what you see right here. So what you get is a spongy and really light material, but pretty much bounces when you play in it. So it kind of reminds you of Nike's Zoom technology, which is really springy, so it's more on the bouncy side. It is said to last for 500 miles. That's a lot of basketball games. So the, that innovation brings lightness, durability, and technically sustainability as well to cushion technology. Uh, how it's structured in the shoe is that there's more of that quick foam in the back. So if you were a four foot type player, um, you would not be feeling too much of a spring, but if you are a heel striker, you're pretty much good to go. All right, so as much as fit is concerned, I would recommend going to your true to size. Uh, Chinese shoes are known for being very wide, so what I would recommend is to wear thick socks because of how wide the shoe is, but because these nylon strands do tend to dig into your feet. The thick cushion socks would compensate for the space here and here. Keep in mind that the shoe is a one piece, pretty much like a runner, and you should be good to go after that. All right, so the materials and the support of the shoe pretty much tie up into one in this setup. So the upper is a malleable knit, and underneath that is what looks like to be an inside out mesh. It is very textured and provides toughness and structure to the shoe. And underneath all of that is the core support of the shoe, which 361 is calling a 3D keel. 3D keel keeps the foot on the footbed and it really helps you to stay balanced. The pattern kind of reminds me of the OG Crazy Light from Adidas from back in the day. And uh, nestled within that 3D keel is a nylon fly wire attached to the laces for an adaptive fit. And rounding it out, you got your open cell mesh tongue and that's woven into one piece and finally your oval laces to round out the rest of the shoe. So overall, this iteration of the Big 3, what you get is a very well ventilated shoe. It is very light because of the cushioning and the materials. If you were to use these indoors, you will, would be good to go. If you do ball in an outdoor setting, the dust pickup is pretty noticeable. So 
wiping will be very essential. And for the price of how much did it go for? A little bit over 2,000 pesos. You do get a really good performing shoe, which exceeds all expectations. So I would give these guys a thumbs up and wait till the next Lazada sale before you could cop your own because I think they will be doing another sale on 1010. All right, with that being said, I hope you do like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next shoe.